Today I'm going to show you what's inside one of these catalytic converters and how it works. This here is where the catalytic converter is located underneath the vehicle. Now the catalytic converter is located in the middle of the exhaust system. It runs just behind the exhaust manifold before the exhaust goes out to the resonator and the muffler. Its purpose is to filter out pollutants before it goes out to the tailpipe. And here's what the car sounds like with no catalytic converter. Alright, so you can see you've got the entire exhaust laid out here. We've got the exhaust manifold up at the front here, the catalytic converter in the middle, and the resonator, and then the tailpipe that leads out to the muffler. This here is the catalytic converter removed from the vehicle. This here is your rear oxygen sensor that monitors catalytic converter performance. So here's a look inside of the rear exhaust pipe with the oxygen sensor sticking down into the exhaust stream. And here's a look into the rear of the catalytic converter. It's got that mesh which is the same as the mesh that you see up at the front here. All right, so I've got my grinder all ready here. I'm gonna cut open this catalytic converter and see what's inside. All right, so I've cut both sides open here. So inside the catalytic converter, we've got the shell, of course. And then inside the shell, there's this like felt-like material that lines the outside here. And then, of course, you've got the catalyst here, which is this honeycomb-shaped thing and the exhaust gases flow through here. Now to get a closer look of what's inside the catalyst, I'm going to chop it in half. Now if we open this up here, you can see that there's thousands of tiny little passages that the air flows through, and it's made like this to maximize surface area of the exhaust gases against the catalyst. Now the purpose of the catalytic converter is to filter out harmful nitrous oxides, carbon monoxides, unburdened fuel, and turn them into less harmful nitrogen, CO2, and water. A three-way catalytic converter has two stages, reduction and oxidation. Now a catalyst is like an evil mother-in-law who will break up a toxic relationship. The kids will come home, but will be very unstable and won't stay for long before they find their own partners and move on in life. So you can see in the case of carbon monoxide here, the bond between the two will break up in the presence of the catalyst and it will form carbon dioxide which is less toxic. Now the unburned fuel or hydrocarbons will break up and in the presence of oxygen form a combustible reaction where the byproducts are CO2 and water. Now the membrane inside of the catalytic converter is actually a ceramic that's coated with very precious metals such as platinum, palladium, rhodium and sometimes gold and that's what causes them to be so expensive. Now in front of the catalytic converter we've got an AF sensor that monitors the f air to fuel ratio and outputs a current in the form of a lambda value. Now optimally the lambda value will equal 1 when your air to fuel ratio is 14.7 to 1 for gasoline combustions. That will ensure optimal combustion in the engine and the most efficient operation of the catalytic converter. Now out at the back here we've got an oxygen sensor that's also measured by the ECU and that's to ensure that the catalytic converter is outputting enough oxygen and working efficiently. Now sometimes these catalytic converter pores they get clogged up here and then exhaust gases can't flow through properly. And then your oxygen sensor behind here triggers a check engine light to say that your catalytic converter is working inefficiently. And that's pretty much how the catalytic converter works on your Corolla.